booth. Alpha male. A line of love. Tell me you ain't tryna rap with a porn star. star. Talk music and brag about your sports car. Smoke blunt, sip drinks for the interview. Interview the world who you be when you in the booth. I'm familiar with the cues, but I brought bras. A line of love, see a bar being porn star. star. Around here, we don't do things minimal. Nah, say cheese, you on camera, we in the booth. 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 Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Alpha Mel. It's another episode of We in the Booth with the beautiful line of love, of course. Hi. And we got a very important guest today, man. Very special alumni to um, a line of love. I'm just meeting him today. You know what I mean? Love and laughs. One and only from the Bronx, scripting the building. What's up, bro? Hi. What's going on, bro? Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Very, very welcome. Bro, it's a pleasure. How was it getting over here? Like, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It's the traffic just it wasn't too heavy. I came at the uh, rush hour. So. All right, yeah, yeah. And where, where you was coming from? You don't, you don't mind saying? I was coming from up top. Showing some love, you know what I mean? Showing some love. I see my brother on a visit. Shout out to the bro, man. Yeah, I'm mean? for love. Free him. Free fans. Like, Boy, bro, that's real. So you, you, uh, that, I just wanted you to say it so they can know, like, oh, real yeah. artists, man, they make time for everything. Like, you, you know, it's you, so you want to see your bro, and right after that, coming to do a show, bro. Yeah. So we appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah, bro. You got to make time for everything. I wish I was two people. You know, yeah. Well, you can technically clone yourself. Yeah. So you it's a lot of money. I was just told about Yeah, that's that. Money for money. money for that on my bucket mm -hmm. list, too. Yeah, well, Check. <laughs> I want to see everything I go to. I don't want him to tell me about it. Like, Yo, you know what we did yesterday? Nah, I want to be there. I like. wanted to be there. Only time he was lit, I'm coming. Keep all the boring shit. You can do it. You do you. I'm chilling. Keep all the boring shit, bro. You know? So for everyone that doesn't know you, who is Scripalation? And how'd you get the name? Honestly, I named myself. How, why? Yeah. How? Because, uh, for one, I think, for one, I'm a Gemini. So, I'm I feel like everybody's Zoom Gemini? Uh, yeah, my birthday just passed. Like, Seriously? Happy belated. Yeah. Happy belated. Yeah. Belated. belated. I'm gonna say June, I'm not gonna give it exact date. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So. Why? You're not gonna get the year of social or nothing? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna fix my credit if I give you? <laughs> right, right? Like, you fix your credit. Hold up, you fix credit. <laughs> I know people that do. <laughs> we'll talk. All right, after the interview. Yeah. All right, so um, yeah. So it was always an all oh, personality here. Yeah, person. Me, I don't think I have multiple personalities. But once I say I'm a Gemini, you know, you get like slip remarks. I'm sorry, bro. Too sorry. Sorry for you. We'll leave with the best. You know. So me, I stick to the script. Mm -hmm. I was a writer. And most of the things I write about, I actually do. You know, have everybody say do the shit in real life. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, stick to the script. That's just me. And it fit with me. Yeah, it fit. The script. Everybody would say, yo, I like that name. I was like, yeah, I had that name ever since I was like Was it always scripulation? No, nah, I changed it. You, you yeah. added it? Then I started getting with the bars. Yeah, yeah. I started changing it, you know. I started, I started feeling like I was writing scriptures. So, I was like, my name could feel like it could be in the Bible. Like, Revelation, scripulation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's how you feel. That's yeah. how you feel. Feel fucked up. Right. When did you start taking music seriously? Uh, when I was I was living in North Carolina for a while. I did. I went to school out there. That's why I did my schooling and everything. Right. And I found most of my family, the rest of my family, and man, we started a little group from high school. Oh, like a boy band? It wasn't a band. <laughs> it was like a little rap movie. It was a little. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I ain't had no dance moves, so y'all yeah, was just nah, we was, was rap. No <laughs> we, was, we was young little, so you know, was I wish it was people, TikTok back then. Was we it were people young. from North Carolina? Yeah, this is why you ain't like me. High school, I got a twin brother, so it was oh, me, what? Yeah, so. me, my twin brother, my cousin, um, and a, a few guys from school, you know. You know, we from New York, so a lot mm -hmm. of people down there, like, it took, like. Do you know Biggie? Yeah, you know, you yeah. know that New York shit. Yeah, I know. You know, then, I know. You, you, know you, you you have to build a relationship down there with people. You build a relationship, with, you know, with mm -hmm. the people down there and shit. And it, it's just, everything just fell into place and shit. You know what I'm saying? Boy, yeah, the boy band fell into place. People started getting that for a long time. Buying our CDs. You know how you're doing something and you don't know you're doing it? It was one of those. We was young. And you was like, yeah, you ain't even know you had a buzz. 
I swear to God, I ain't gonna be on the mall. Damn, that's fire, man. I swear to God, like, I'll go on Walmart. Cousin be like, you script, dude. You script? I'm like, how do you make you feel? Yeah. It's yeah, just, that's crazy. It that's was dope. weird. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, how you know me? Oh, we heard your CD. That shit is fire. I was like, oh, good buddy. Not my CD, but we heard y'all's CD. Yeah, yeah. We was called the Baker Boys. Yeah. Back then when we was young. You know, but. The name was kind of crazy because we was young kids and they had like, <laughs> it was just like a little cocaine powder on the shit. But we had to change it up. <laughs> the though. Baker Boy. Yeah, it, it was, it was, yeah, it was one of those. Yeah. You know, then I, then when I was young, I was singing, I was rapping. And my manager, he was like, yo, don't sing and rap, just rap. But do you still sing? I hear the same voice. I hear, I hear. I'm a little raspy right now. I have a little weak. I thought you were hitting me with the monkey. Yeah. I mean, it probably could have been. I was drinking, smoking, and all bunch of shit. So traveling. I'm just right, trying to get my voice back right now. So. So. We just we love this guy. You know, we want to get sponsored by them. Like, how at it, man? Like, we think everything. Please, man. Let me just sit. Look, let's sit the bottle right here. So well, yeah, sit it right there. Sit like, right there. Sponsored by it. Hopefully, that's amigo. We're All about right. to come out with a commercial. Hopefully, right. sponsored by it. <laughs> <laughs> I need five percent of that. I don't want much. Only two. That's it. Only two. I mean, as long as I don't pay the Listen, bill. One percent is good. Like. Um, okay, I heard uh, what was somebody I forgot who it was, but they said some type of deal. And they were like, Yo, I could give you 500,000 right now, or I could give you two percent for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life, and he went with the 500,000. Yeah, right? yeah. Now, that's it. It all depends on how much the business is like, or how much you believe like, how much in gross it. Gross income, I mean. Uh huh. If this is a trillion dollar business, I'll take two percent of trillion. Of I'll take two percent of a billion. I'll take two percent of hundreds of millions, but I'm not taking two percent of a hundred thousands. It's not money. But for the rest of your life, you are gonna yeah, get a little but, check. But, take but it's it, not gonna be equivalent to that. He he took it when it wasn't so big, but they were telling the him, like, "Yo, kid. this is gonna be bigger." So on him, the Lion King. Guy? No, he he did it. He did take it. Yeah. He took the percent. He didn't yeah, take he it. Took the percent. So I'm talking about somebody that did the opposite. I think oh, he, he took the money. Fifty. Mm -hmm. I think it had something to do with fifty cent. Yeah, but you know yeah. what that is? Mm -hmm. He took the bread instead. That's a trick question. But he ain't believing. That's why I'm saying, like, he didn't believe in it. Like, he was like, yo, question. this is going to be worth a lot later. If they come to you and they say, listen, you have to take the million. And you need it. Or you have to, they you make it sound it. low. What sound more? Like, two million? Or oh, two you think percent? that's how they presented it? Yeah. Like, yo, you want it's, this two it's, million it's, fucking dollars? It's, it's, or you want just two percent? It's called <laughs> wordplay. Well, yeah, but also a lot of Like how they deal with the money manipulation. It's wordplay. You hear it, you're like, oh, shit. I don't. It's wordplay. If you're a person who's, see, a lot of people who do music, we witty with words. So we know when somebody telling us some shit yeah, or yeah, somebody yeah, trying yeah. to get us. So like, yeah. nah, that don't sound right. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I make music. Like, I use words to, to manipulate minds. This is what mm -hmm. you're supposed to do. Yeah. So if somebody comes I to you, <laughs> right? You, you, <laughs> so if somebody comes to you and say, look, I got $5 million for you. What, you want $5 million? Oh, you rather take three percent of this business? What you want for future money? Yeah, but a lot of people Someone don't think of Someone will pop the suitcase in front of you. Like you're five million. Oh, you want three percent? You like? So they're like, it's a no-brainer. I don't take the five. If you're smart, you can take five million. And flip, flip that crazy. But a lot of people not smart when it comes to money because you get it, you get lazy, and you just used to spending it and chilling. So you're not gonna be like, oh shit, let me go start a business. Now you gotta work again. You know. Now I'm rich. Now I'm working. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, you, you know understand? what? Maybe that's what these one hit wonders be like. They they not one hit wonders. It's a they gimmick. Just, they get so much money for the rest of their life, and they're like, I'm out. Fuck this is why you're not know. supposed to love money. You're supposed mm -hmm. to love business. When you love business, it's you different because you don't give a fuck about the money. You like, I just it's want gonna come. come to you anyway. I like doing what I'm doing. I like the business. Use the money to get more money. That's why I say, make sure when you're doing something, do something you love because I don't feel like you don't you're doing it for free. You just doing it because you like doing it. And then the money gonna come. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it works. Money, sure. money is a it's 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 really a fucking scam to your mind. That you think it's really important and it's really not. Mm -hmm. So like, money goes like this. Yeah, money. It goes fast. It goes fast. Right? If I give you five money million goes dollars, fast. It goes that fast. shit gonna be gone. Before you in know three it. years, you're gonna be like, hold up. 
I just had three left. Well, fingers. especially if you don't know how to save money or anything like that, that five million. It goes. Yeah, money. and then you know, if you happen to be in the, a certain lifestyle that you want to, you feel you have to show off. You gonna blow that on the right. super shit for the moment, like you getting these cars and all of that, and then you know you ain't got nothing. Like that's mm-hmm. why people, um, I, 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 I study a lot, and I be seeing, yeah, I be seeing, yo, they run to buy the chains and shit. Like, nah, bro, don't do that. As they get buy the merchandise, bro. Buy merchandise mm-hmm. first. Buy, buy, buy How about that? Right. When you buy oh. shit like that, that makes you want to start a business because you like, damn, I got something I can make. Like, you get a clean rubber one. So did you have a mentor or you just like studied the business side on your own and whatnot? Or? I had to study it on my own. You really can't get nobody to teach you anything because they're only going to give you bits and pieces of what they want you to know. So you got to go in there and study that shit yourself. If you want it, it don't you matter know. what it is. I don't care if it's going master and mixing CDs. And I don't care if it's playing the video. Do you do that as well? Mix and master? Yeah, I learned how to do that. Oh, I learned during COVID. You know, when you got time on your hand, I try to learn how to play the guitar a little bit. Now I forgot. I'm talking about as far as playing the guitar. But as far as the mixing and like, not mastering, but as far as mixing and editing music, I learned. So what do you, while, what do you, what do you feel, like, what do you feel is uh, required as the person mixing the track? Like, tell, so those who don't know, like, cause you know, there's, there's engineering the track, then there's mixing it, then there's mastering. You say you mix it, right? So. What do you feel you not you need to do when you mixing something? I thought mix and mastering was the same thing. No, I'm not. Mix is good enough so, so you can hear. Mastering, you know, I'm taking out bits and pieces of Making little experience. noises that, you know, I'm leveling certain shit. Yeah, so when yeah, you get inside exactly. the radio, you can hear when I'm EQing certain levels and changing hertz and shit. A lot of people don't do that probably. But it's you learned off like YouTube and stuff? I learned off YouTube. But I learned through different videos. So if I watch a different video and they show me the same shit, then I'm like, all right, that gotta be it. You know, there's right. one girl that told me up there. I put, damn, I'm gonna say her name because I wanna give her props. So like this, this white girl, she made glasses. She was yeah, nice. She described. She went, no, white girl. Man, white girl. No, but look, <laughs> yeah, she, I she fuck with, she, honestly, I, I fuck with logic. I, I used both yeah. before when I was recording, when we had like a bigger studio. But when I got my own little personal, I started using Logic. And I was like, yeah, this shit is actually, it's kind of harder to use. Nah, it is. It is. People use Pro Tools because it's easier. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. harder to use. I started with Logic too when I was, but I ain't It's that clear, bro. Or, I took my shit to my so engineer. I let like him hear it. The Rosh Band is the simplest. Like, you just want your, if you want your, your music out there. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> think I'm it's too big to be sitting right <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the Casamigo, see? What you got it? You got it. <laughs> yeah. So what what you got going on though, like music wise? Um, right now, it's a few songs I just gotta shoot some videos to. And then from there it's just straight promotion, promotion, promotion. Cause I feel like that's why I like that. You know, it's promotion because the promotion. When you do it when you busy doing other shit, it's like Marketing is everything. Right. Yeah. You know, you know, I got the talent. So it's like Yeah, right. so so now I just gotta push the marketing and mm-hmm. the promotion. That's it. What inspires you when you write a song? So I, I have to go through some shit. I'm not gonna lie. I go what through What inspires you to write your last song? Um, <laughs> See what? See just what? going through events in life and it's just like, real shit. That's it, man. That's what I like. Like, that's the same thing. Like, when I heard this, like, tracks and stuff it tells a story you know what i mean it's not it's like true. how some of the artists are now where it's like i went balenciaga and i drive cars and i got pictures right. and this like it That's tells the a story it's too. like yeah you heard the happy song i'll put you on the, you know when the show is it's over. like you know old, the old school hip-hop into the new era basically mm-hmm. so i'm like it's the same thing with your track it tells a story right. it's not that's Just, the first thing I, when she showed me a track and we was listening to it, that's the first thing I said, like, yeah, he rapping that real shit. Like, you could tell, like, he ain't, like, you know, bubble gum with it or ABC most, with it. You know? Most of the time when I perform, you know, I go to these little events, I hear them. But most of the time, I don't want to perform. Sometimes I go there just to show love. Mm-hmm. Once I hear how the crowd or just the music that's being played, I'll just be like, ah, uh, sound like the last artist or sound like the artist before that or. To me, it's just whack, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, 
Don't get it twisted. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I the hear music you. sounds amazing, but it just sounds the same. Right. You know, it's sure. like the Backstreet Boys. They came out with these songs, but the beat sounded the same on every song. Right. If you really listen to the music, but you still dance to it, because it's just like, ah, it's making me listen. Well, but, yeah, I mean, and then you had in sync, which sounds exactly the same as the Backstreet Boys. See what I'm saying? And then you had, what's the other boy group? 98 Degrees. That's right. It all sounded the same. 98 Degrees, Blink 182. Yeah, all of that. What's the other 98 Degrees? Yeah. They all sounded the same. So when I go up there and I start presenting my music, <laughs> it's different. They give you that, that 90s feel added with a little bit of this feel. Right. You know, with the genre of today. No, I hope. So, mm-hmm. and that's why a lot of people walk up to the stage and be like, yo, my whole life be spitting some shit. Mm-hmm. So when I yeah for sure you know, I see this yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm up there performing and people come up to that's how I know I did my job. Like, yeah, for sure. I, like when I walk up the stage and people give you like they greet you like yo you know uh, from your music. To me that's what that's how I feel like I want. Mm-hmm. You know if I don't get that so be it. You know sometimes I don't, I don't get that and I leave out, outside of people walking to me like yo I'm not gonna lie. Out, out the blue. Yeah. You know, sometimes it'd be a tough crowd. You got a whole bunch of yeah, yeah, like, I've done people when they just feel like they don't got to do it at the time. And, and then when you say, when you see it's a tough crowd, is it because, like, what, is it a music event or was it like a... Most of the time, a lot of people bring these people out that they know. So, when a crowd, I'm not going to say the crowd is tough, it's just that they don't know you. Right. So they so don't know your songs. Or right. Or it's yeah, new to hearing them. It. Yeah, yeah. So the more you show yourself, the more you be seen, the more they're going to know you. And that's a different, that's another thing. You gotta be on the scene. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Social media is everything now. I won't say me, social media, just being outside in a physical form, seeing people. Right. That's that means more than social media. To me. Yeah, but when people look like oh, the first thing that they ask you is what's your social media to see your numbers and all that. It's that don't matter to me. I if I if I wanted a bunch of followers, I would have bought followers online. People sent me shit, and I'm like, I'm not, why would I do that? I don't want to do that. You yeah. know, because this is not authentic to me. I don't know these fucking people that's under my face talking yeah, to me. Yeah. To be sure. honest, right. so I don't do that. It's just like, these are the people I know. These are the people who actually follow me. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy with that. You know, people go look at my numbers. Yes, yeah, this phone is buzzing. <laughs> people calling me. All right. A little bit. So. Nah, that single you got out is crazy, though. What yeah. Do you, what do you call it? What I do just, you call it? With the song? Yeah. Uh, it's called Play No Games. Play No Games. Yeah. It's not even on all platforms. It's on YouTube. You're not putting it on all platforms? I, I'm dropping it on the video. I am. I'm going yeah, you to. Got to. You I'm got going to. to. I'm going to. People want to bump that shit in the whip. They don't mm-hmm. want to look for it in the YouTube. Right, 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 right. So I'm going to put it out. I just want to see the reaction it's going to get from. What's the reaction so far? Oh, people love it. They heard it before. So now we just have the visual. So, so are you are you like signed to a label or anything nah, like people, that? I mean, people have like. You know, they gave me offers, suggestions, and mm-hmm. they just want to see you work. That's all. They want, yeah, they yeah. want to see how your work ethic. When they see your work ethic is great, then they want to say, "Oh, come on, let's come with me. Let's make it happen." You know? Yeah, yeah. So you That's feel how it's it is. to be independent. Yes, because your money goes in your pocket. It's your money. Nobody can't tell you. I can't. Mm-hmm. They can't tell you. Oh, I, I gave you. I helped you out. I gave you a deal. Or, I did this shit myself. I jumped right. online, I did my own paperwork, I got on the phone, I called these numbers, I talked to these people. I put the footwork in. That's my money. Right. Like JG yeah. Whitwork. I want it now. I want it. <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's just what it is. How was your first time performing? Were you nervous? My first time ever? Ever in life. When when did, when did you know why? I'm going to tell you why. why? Because when, back in the days I used to, oh wait, my music history, like story is crazy. We got a little time. Yeah, we got some time, but I, I don't want to get into that. Right now. Okay. But my first time <laughs> ever performing, I wasn't scared. Maybe a little nervous. Maybe a little nervous. But yeah, we all got them little goosebumps. But once you start, once you say that first word, right? But oh, uh, that's it. I don't that's think I was so. nervous because I, I always battle rap in school. So oh, so I, you already had right. that aggressive. So I had it. I had attention. it. I had it. I changed the whole dynamic. In my high school at the, uh, oh, the man, cafeteria. Buddy. Yeah. So, you know, a kid from New York, I used to rap in school. Mm-hmm. Nobody was battling like that. They they wasn't used to shit like that down south. Do you still battle? I mean, I will here and there just to fuck around, but mm-hmm. nah. 
not a battle rapper. Like, you go to battle rap? No. Uh, I can battle rap. Nah, I don't, I don't do nothing. Like I'm low key. I just, I just chill. You know when you got great energy, you don't like to be around a lot of people. So I just chill. I don't be around a lot of people. So when you're in the studio, it's just you and the engineer, basically? I'm by myself now. <laughs> this is true. He doesn't have yeah, I'm by myself. So you grew up in the Bronx? Yeah, grew up in the Bronx and North Carolina. This is. Ah, yeah, you went to school in North Carolina. So that's what, what age was it? Like, when you I left there when I was like twelve. And I 12? came back when I was twenty-two. Last year. Yeah, this is uh-huh. literally like. What made you want to come back? Just because I'm just a New Yorker. Yeah, nah, for sure. Once you out here. Once you out here for a long time, I kept my accent, everything. I came Maybe back in Maine when I was old, too. Huh? They knew you were a New Yorker. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Back. It's too slow for me. I love it, though. Like, yeah. I'm going to go down there like, when I'm about to retire. I feel like I'm on my last, like, 10 years of life. Then I'll go down there. Because you like Maybe it down you. there. Yeah. yeah. That's right. cool. That's for my cool, last man. 10 years, I'll go move. As far as visiting, I'll visit. So so uh so before you left, of course you from the X. Um, who's your top five of hip hop? Like all time, like that or alive? You, you really can't name a top five, man. There's so many. Top three. But my best rappers that I like. <laughs> and my, my, my top. My, t- <laughs> <laughs> my top three, top five. <laughs> like I'm not, my my top five is kind of like it's different from everybody else's. Who do you want to name? Um. Cause you got eras when the top was the top. You know, you got the era in the nineties, you got the top five, you got the two thousands, you got the top five. All the time to Fuck that, who's your top five in the nineties? In the nineties, my top five? Yeah. When I was growing up. As a kid, I used to listen to Alex a lot. As a kid. Shout out to them, man. Yeah, I mean, we did a little star singing for the was that? That was cool. I didn't ever perform with them, but I've been to shows with them. So, to me, that's the thing. Right. It's being around them. It's fire. Because exactly. I'm like, exactly. damn, I grew up off your music. I actually had me, like, take interest in rap. So, when I'm yeah. around, like, you know, I'm just hanging out with them in school. You know what I'm saying? And they speaking that real shit all right. But you took my always to the max. What introduced me to rap was Onyx. And yeah. Buster Rhymes. I, I took a favorite to them. He was coming out. Wu Tang. Sure. Mm-hmm. Like, Wu Tang. Nas. Nas was, Nas was heavy hit. Heavy. Oh, yeah, you, you, everybody, Biggie? I mean, Biggie was cool, Tupac was cool. It was fire. I, I'll fuck with them, but that beef shit made it just like, damn. You know, it was too much going on with them, too. The music was cool. Everybody yeah. listened to them. So yeah, it was yeah. just like, all right, you gotta fuck with them. Anybody listening to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I listen to the album. Was cool, man. I'm still fire. But my, my, my dudes and, and, and rap to me, I'm like the lots. DMX. DMX is one of my favorite rappers. That's one of my top five. Yeah, man. Rest in peace. DMX was X, X, man. man right there. I wish I oh, was X, man. I, 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 was told dope. I, went, I saw his video. Tomorrow was dope. I seen X twice because he, uh, you know, DNY, they they in my hood, like okay. down the block. So X used to date some girl from, uh, well, I so this is what I was told as a little dude. Like, X used to date some girl 600. <laughs> <laughs> He's balancing it. Yeah. He's balancing no. it. Nah, but I saw him walk up and down the block a few times. Okay, for he was one of them. But yeah, DMX. Uh, if you want to say who I started liking as a rapper for real, DMX was number one. Um, yeah, X like really started off. Then I started liking the locks. You know? No, no, you know, he's getting there. He's getting there. See, when I was younger, I didn't understand him. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I was a young kid. And I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. He was hustling. I can't yeah, you got Grava, man? Nah, you, nah, it's slow though. Yeah, right. So look, right? Yeah. Yo, speaking <laughs> of Grava, speaking of Grava, how you say? I ain't one of those. They said they put in fucking hand. Nah, 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 why, nah, why I go get Grava? I'm I, sorry, I'm sorry. But let me finish, right? So, when I was younger, I had to like, I, I used to listen to Jay-Z, but I didn't like Jay-Z. I'm like, why the fuck everybody like this guy? I don't, I don't understand what he's saying. <laughs> So when I got older, I started listening. I'm like, nah, hold on. Holy this man is saying it. some shit. What? You know, I like Hold when, when I was growing up, he was making like the uh, commercial music, you know? Change goals. Like shit like that. So it was cool. 
Nah. When I started listening back in the nah, day, the, the old two, man, hard life, life volume two, yeah. bro. No, listen, what do you think? I listened to it, but I didn't. I didn't understand what he talking about. So I mean, got I'm, older, I'm a kid. Saying. I'm in school. I'm not selling bricks and talking about yeah, going to overseas yeah, and talking. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what the fuck he talking about. So when you get older That's and you true. introduced to a certain lifestyle and you start seeing certain things and learning certain things from being outside, then you understand more what he talking about. So it made me like him more. I'm like, nah, I understand all. But what made me like him more is how he flows to the beat. Always one of those people who can actually rap to the beat. beat. And you know, <coughs> and like, always spoke. And he's saying some shit. That's why. What fine. about the allegations against him now? Like he's part of the Illuminati and he. I mean, everybody's a part of the Illuminati. We a part of the Illuminati. Yeah, but we the Illuminati's that children. Y'all don't know. He's the one <laughs> that. Um, we all part of the Illuminati. <laughs> Once you born, you in the Illuminati. You don't even fucking know. As soon as you come out the cooch, That's you it. you in the Illuminati. Sorry if you don't if you like it or not, you he in is. here. If you can talk about it, you in it. If you spending the money, you in the Illuminati. <laughs> what about the fact that he orchestrated? If you reading the Bible, <laughs> you I, I'm just talking like when people talk he, about Illuminati. We him. all everybody's a part of the even if we don't want to be. That's just what we in. Sorry. What about the allegations that he orchestrated, like, Aaliyah's murder? Basically? Listen, you know how many, this is mafia shit. You know how many people Thank die. You, Captain Obvious. People die in this game. You know, there's people out here dying. Every day. Right? Every day. The only reason we talking about these people because they famous. People die every day. Somebody killed Kobe. Somebody killed Michael Jackson. Somebody killed Left Eye. Some people die. And then we got to point fingers on who to blame. That's just how it goes. You know how many people probably died that 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 we like, that an artist probably did it and we don't fucking know? Or an actor probably killed him. We don't fucking know, but we watch his active movies every day. I'm like, damn, I love this guy. He probably cried at the movie theater some shit he did in the movie. We don't know. So I just mind my business when it comes to shit like that. You understand know what I'm saying? Because right. I can't speak on shit, I don't know. So I leave it alone, you know? Because mm-hmm. that shit get deep. You know, camera, you talk on shit like that. Anyway, back to good stuff. What's the craziest thing that happened to you at the studio? As far as music? He's a guy. This the, oh, okay. There you go. Yo, exactly. I'm like, she asked, not me. If I would've asked, it would've been music. The craziest thing that ever happened to me at the studio. Mm-hmm. No one wants to know. I mean, a lot of crazy shit happened to me at the studio. But if you were smashing like four or five zones, then probably. at the studio? <laughs> I mean, I went. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, son. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to say that's crazy. You know, that's I mean, I don't think I really had too many crazy. All like, about work? Yeah, when I go in there, I just I straight work all the time. But as far as you talking about like women, I got a couple of stories about that. It's not too, it's not crazy. I be, I mean, one of the girls that I, I met on the street before now. Wait, the I mean, that's how we meet people. I'm from being outside, right? Outside is the streets. Right? Once you leave the house, you're on the streets. It don't matter. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you are. It don't matter where you go. She said, hey, baby. She's like, hey, let's go to the studio. I mean, that's how it was, kind of. You know, when you when you're younger, it's like, that's just how it goes, you know? You're a little interesting. Yeah, that's how you make music. You got to go like outside and look for inspiration. So when you get it, you come back and make a song. Bro. She was your music that day? No, this girl was like a porn star now. Yeah. Like, seriously. And I was like, I swear to God, I'm over here watching porn. And I, I, come, across, <laughs> I come across the video. I'm like, I said, no, this is not this I girl. fucked her. I didn't even fuck her. Oh. I mean, but you know, got head, but it was like, I didn't have sex with her. But, yeah, nah, I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie. Like, that was like a crazy experience. So when I seen the video, I'm like, this girl I does. Why she do porn? Like, I don't know. Right? So I sent it to a couple people I know. Like, oh, shit. I'm like, yo, bro. I'm like, yo, who is this? It was like, yo, no way. Huh? It was like, yo, no way. It was like, yo, no way. That's her. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, you serious? And recently, I just got up with this person. It's been years. So I've seen him. I'm like, you remember me? And they was like, yeah, my boy. 
and it was over from there. I mean, nothing like happened, but it was just like, you know, we was just like reminiscing, like just talking shit. I was asking about our career. Remember that time you made me heck before you were a porn star? <laughs> Keep on. I know, I'm just sorry. I know, keep going. I'm like, you're on point, bro. You want to give me a head now so I can say yeah, that. Yeah, man. Yeah. Nah, I wouldn't even count. do that. You wasn't one yet. I wouldn't even do that. I won't do that. I'll probably put it in a video so you would never know what she is. Is it hard to date being in the industry? I mean, not really. It's kind of easier to be. <laughs> you just check people? It's easier. That's, That's my bad. That's my bad. You want to pick up people? Nah. Um, I mean, I really it's just I don't I don't like dating. You know? Yeah, you, you said earlier you're you a very private person, right? Prefer one night stands. I mean, if it happens, so be it. You know, but I'm not going outside looking for one night stands. You don't go outside anymore. I go outside, but I don't go looking for one night stands. <laughs> let him breathe a little bit, y'all. She talking, let her go. Let him breathe a little bit. I'll go look for one night stands. If it happened, it happened. Normally when I go outside, I go outside to like network, socialize, you know, it's, it's, it's all, I'm just chill. Normally, I, I like to be in the crib, man. You said, New York is a man. You make music in your crib? Yeah. So you doing it yourself, you said? Are you logic and all that? I just want to do some shit with my studio. I got to get another studio. Somebody, I let somebody hold my studio and they did some weird shit to it. So. Oh, man. Yeah, so right now I'm just I'm building, rebuilding my studio. It's not hard. Once you know what to do. It's not really, you know, you got your, you got your little mag, nice mic. You got to get your good interface. Once yeah, you get exactly. Interface, the nice interface. I, mean, I got the Scarlet. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Apollo, see. Apollo's good. Apollo's good, too. Bro. It's a great interface. <laughs> No, nah, it's like the thing to, that you connect the mic with the, the amps and the speakers. Oh, I don't even know too much about that. That's why I come here. So it's a one word studio. Yeah. Station. Word. So how do you differentiate between somebody who really like rocks with you and somebody who's just an opportunist? I mean, that's something you have to like wait for. You gotta give somebody time to like. How much time? Sometimes this shit reveal itself in two minutes. You just meet somebody and be like, no. And and I like how you answered that because like I said, people who are there as the opportunities, like you can you can pretend to be something for so long. It right. comes out eventually. Six times. Six times. Yeah, exactly. You really can't distinguish right then and there unless you really I'm good at like knowing people. So I can just look at somebody and be like, nah. You know, I don't know what the fuck. It. Sometimes I tricked me before and I'm like, nah, this just push on to being good. And you're like, wait, come back. No, I'll say come back. I'll just be like, that's a good person right there. You know? Yeah. It's good to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good to speak. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> you answer yeah. very nice. Yeah, don't, don't be, I don't want, you can't have so many people in your circle. Man. Facts. All in your you square. Know? Don't have, like, you know, that's a whatever. Fact. Just, it's, it's okay. okay. I don't know. I can say a lot of it. You just have to be around good people. Be around good people with good energy. I don't give a fuck if those good people is just one person. Yeah. Right. As long as that person make you happy, that's it. And yeah. they tell you your wrongs, that's it. And if they give you good energy and not nothing more, yeah. take that. Don't expect nothing. And they're not just a yes man. I had to learn at, a, at, a, at the age of my Because back then, I could see the bad of somebody and still be cool. Cause it's like, oh, I'm fucking, they probably yeah, chasing accept, me. Um, yeah, you can be sympathetic and then you show empathy all at the same time. But that mm-hmm. shit, that shit don't take you far. Yeah, but then you know? they look at you like a sucker. Who cares? Uh, you can look at me like a sucker. You can take it weakness, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about with the but, empathy and sympathy, but yes, this is why I play the sucker. Don't do it. I play the sucker. So Especially like, if, if you mad. Like, you know, because I, I know a lot of people that, that, they ain't, I know they ain't shit, but they still mad at me. So I just play the sucker. Like, I know how you're moving. I don't need to tell you about yourself. Like, nah. As long as I know how you're moving, I know how to handle you. And, and honestly, I've played around them. Oh, yeah, but you see my circle. My me, like that. I can't play a sucker, so I just distance myself from somebody. I can't do it. I'm not going to be around you being fake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be around you being fake. So me, I just distance myself. If I give you a little bit of act like I'm like me, cordial, 
No, that means I have some type of love for you. If I do that. If I don't do that, that means I'm good. I don't want to be around you. I don't want your energy. I see your inner secret energy. I see all of that shit. Mm-hmm. Just leave me alone. Period. That's it. Nah, facts. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong about leaving. You don't need a lot of friends. That's it. Don't, bro. No. You can have a million resources. You don't need a lot of friends. What advice would you give to somebody that wants to start a new industry? Just be consistent. If you want to rap and do music, be consistent. And and go out there and act like you're the best. That's it. And be the best. And just make good music. Yeah. And know the business. So you feel if you feel like let's say I make a song today and I feel it's trash, it's trash? If you feel it's trash, it all depends on who you like it. If you let a whole bunch of people hear it and they say, yo, I like it. But you feel the trash. But, but, I, 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 damn. And that's what I mean. This song's that I mean that I feel. You're your own critic. Yeah. Honestly, it's no song that I felt that I mean is trash. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you just ain't. Because I'm not going to go in there and speak you on know that what mic. You like. If it's trash coming mm-hmm. out of my brain and my mouth, you know, I can't do it. It's like, nah, this shit sounds bad. I'm just yeah. trash the whole thing. Grab. I'm not even going to complete or formulate that shit. It's, it's over. So if I make something I'm not confident in, I ain't going to say trash. It's, I, may, I might not be too confident. There you go, bro. I'm going to yeah. let everybody hear it to see how they feel. And then you know you have your people who have good ears, and then your people who just have, like, they just like music. Some people have no ears. They just, like, thinking about something else when you love them. Yeah, we not you're even friends. Saying, yeah. I can't even be your friend if you don't have no ears. Well, you got a lot of people hear your music, bro. Yeah, yeah, but oh, what man, you listening for? If you don't got no ears, you got to listen. That's the whole point of me. You doing the music. You here. Yeah. So I throw a listener party and you just hear it and I listen. And I'm like, ah, you got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get out. Yeah. The purpose, I brought you in because I thought you could listen. Only I want you around. That's, that's right. It. That's it. And that's it. And that's the thing, too. Some people just want people around them in this music. And you can't do that. You got to have people around you that's going to move how you moving or move how they moving. But it's in they, your best interest and it ain't for you. So that's a good thing. You move on how you move, but you have to be in your best interest. I like that. You don't mm-hmm. got to be under me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't got to be under you. It's just like, yo, go ahead. You're going to do what you do, and you know where to come back and bring to the table. Some people don't have no plan, no structure, no life. So when they see you doing this shit, they want to be under you. Now, it's your job, if you want them under you, to find them a job. If you can't do that, that shit going to turn into hate. Because they're going to see everything you're doing and they're going to feel like they should be a part of that because they're right next to you. You know what's happening around me? My boys are like picking up hobbies to to support the movement. Like one of them is like, yeah, I want to make beats now. One of them is like, yeah, I want to, um, I'm, I'm experiencing this field that like they're picking things up and getting crazy with it. And I nice admire that. And this is to be around me. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? It's kind like a little movement. That's good. And that's, that's great. great that you have people around and you that's that want even want to help you because nine mm-hmm. times out of ten they want to take you they, no nine times out of ten they want to be around you and they want to, they want, they want to see you succeed but the best thing is that you are giving them energy to learn something else exactly mm-hmm. so I, if something really don't click off for you and it clicked for them they gonna always come to you and be like yo you gave me the inspiration so yeah thank you you understand what I'm saying that's why it's always good to have that energy around you good energy if you're a person who don't know how to distinguish good or bad, then you don't need to be around. Yeah, Go yeah, take a class true. or something. Yeah. But you can't even take a class on that. It's either you have to or it's, you don't. But it's, it comes yeah, from experience. If you have no experience out here of dealing with people, then they're going to take advantage of you. Yeah. Me, I've dealt with all type of different aspects of human. You know what I mean? So I know how to deal with almost everybody. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, man. So where where people go find you at? Like, you know what I mean? Honestly, I don't like being found. <laughs> so you can find me on Instagram. Yeah, if I'm, you can find me on YouTube. You can Google me too. Script Scott. You Google it. I want to shit gonna pop up from you. Script Scott. Script Scott. Right, that's it. I just want to continue to make that's music. Right. That's the original name, Script Scott. My real name, no real life. Nah, nah, like that's that was oh, the original rap name, Scripps Scott. Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. <laughs> it's Scripps Scott. I like that one. That's, it's, it's, that one's crazy. I, it flows. Are you still using? Yeah, that's my name, Scripps Scott. I, I 
I go by script, but I had Scott too. So, but yeah, that's my plan, just to keep making music. Yeah. And I said, I, I just want to make music people can feel. That's it. And I want to take it. You haven't heard the music that I have. You've heard some songs. I heard some. But you haven't heard the shit that I really have. I have some well, shit. Now I'm hear I don't it. just make like rap music or R and B. I make I make anything. I got all types of shit. I got I can like make rock and shit. stuff too? I can make rock. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, they don't they don't they like they listen. I like it. I like it. rock. I'll make some rock shit right like now. It. I love it. That's oh, it. You guys let me tell you the, let me tell you the secret to the game. My brother always told me. My brother, like, that's the one I was going to see. Right? Look, he on Rock Club album. The last album Rock Club ever made, he's on that one. As a what? Producer or something? Or a rapper? Yeah, that's where I really get, like, my, my shit from. Mm-hmm. Like, I seen, I'm, I'm not going to say I was following his footsteps, because we, I come from a musician, like a music family, so mm-hmm. this is what we do. But just the energy that he, you know, he gave off for honest shit, he got locked up, so I'm like, I'm gonna continue the journey, bro. So that's it. it is what it is, you know. I got a couple songs with, you know, for the people that's doing shit, man. And then shit, y'all don't really like the name of shit, man. Yeah. And so how long you been rapping? Ever since I was young, it's like 12. Just been going in. And you took over when you left, like, that was all I knew. Yeah, that was like, like the goal right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I, I just gotta keep going. That's it. It's the That's it, man. I just gotta keep going. That's it. So once again, where can people find you? Find me on Instagram. Scrip Scott. S C R I P. It's like two P's, right? Oh. Oh, one P. S C R I P. S C O T T. It's it. Scrip Scott. I'm in. And then from there, you can find me on YouTube. Yeah. This video is for you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, yeah, appreciate you. So, oh, you want to perform that? You want to perform that for us too, my boy, man? Yeah, you want to. Make sure you nah, come. Yeah, for sure. They got some nice titties up here for you. Thank you. Oh, they just said it, but you wrote. Yes, my old ones. Oh, shit. That's the old boobs. <laughs> original boobies up here. You understand? <laughs> this is an authentic pack. Make sure you get That's this. <laughs> nah, fact, I said it's authentic. <laughs> original. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Hey, yo, what's going on, man? We in the booth. It's your boy Alpha Mel with a line of love. Right now, we got your boy Script, Script Scott, Scott in the man. building. What's going on, y'all? Yeah. Shout out to X. He about uh-huh. to tear it up. Uh, play no games, right? Yeah, play no All games. Right, so you already know, man. He better not play no games in there. Let's get it. Yo. Shout out to a line of love, man. Alpha. We in the motherfucking booth, man. You feel me? Uh. You listening to Scripulation, aka Script Scott. Let's go. God gave me the voice of Goliath. I scream her when I can start a whole triumph. Left foot, right foot, break down the science. I'm from the Bronx, we'll never get quiet. I'm from the Bronx, we'll never get tired. This meditation got me thinking like a Mayan These kids is getting murdered, they still believe in the Zion What if I told you they was lying? Got me gripping on this iron Got me feeling like a lion But they want me in the zoo I be shooting at the trying They already got my brother and they looking for another I swear I hate these motherfuckers Grandma said that they don't love us I just think about our mothers Oh man, my girl said she hate me and I'm not a man I guess that coma go with all the calluses and hands Here goes the ash, your middle finger to your rubber man that's when they grateful for women just seem to understand Check me out right now I know you feeling this shit right now Shoot your shot, you gon' miss right now I'm on my way uptown I just hope you're still holding it down Yeah Check me out right now I know you feel it in your scalp right now You rollin' real up on the couch right now I got some beans, I don't take them But you can bite down, yeah I wish life came with a cheat code Instead it came with drugs and a peak hole Fight nights and egos A whole lot of pride and egos Lord only he knows I really feel like I'm the GOAT These niggas talk about how my back like they're the coach You degrade my accolades, you're getting smoked However, I feel like Tyson with the rope I just stay focused while they watch and take notes I'm scared to talk, these niggas stealing quotes I smoke a blunt, these niggas want the roach Why the fuck they putting fatty in the work? Rest in peace to the people that overdose. 
Don't call me to your block cause I pull up Move on your earth quick and how you shook up For real All my niggas is category 5 We don't need Instagram to get live All we need is COVID masks and FaceTimes Check me out right now I know you feeling this shit right now Shoot your shot, you gon' miss right now